السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دا سینیریو از یہ دیٹ ا پرسن وڈ کم اپ ٹو یو اینڈ ٹیل یو دیٹ دیر از اے پارٹی گوئنگ آن ٹونائٹ اینڈ دے ول بی ڈرنکنگ اینڈ ڈانسنگ آل نائٹ اینڈ ہی ٹیلز یو دیٹ وائٹ ڈو یو کم الانگ اینڈ ٹیپ ود اس اینڈ جوائن اس ان دا پارٹی اینڈ یو ٹیل ہم دیٹ نو آئی کین ناٹ ڈو سچ اے تھنگ اینڈ ہی ٹیلز یو دیٹ وائٹ ڈو یو ریجیکٹ مائی انویٹیشن So the answer should be here that it will take me away from my God. First of all, God the Almighty has commanded in the Quran that it is not lawful for one to go about and drink. The Prophet, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said that it is also not lawful for one to go out and drink. The system of the community has a law that is not lawful to go out and drink. So if I do decide to go out and drink, I will be disobeying my God, I will be disobeying the Holy Prophet, and I will be disobeying the members of the community. Therefore, it is not lawful for me to go out and drink. On the second thing, that our second caliph has said that there are three types of people who cannot offer prayer. One, are the people under age. Two, people who are extremely sick. And three, people who are intoxicant. There are people who are intoxicant and they seem to lose control of their senses. So if I happen to go out and drink, I will lose control of my senses. And therefore, I, cannot, I will not be able to focus. And when one cannot focus, they cannot focus on prayer. So the question is that how can I communicate with my God if I cannot focus on my prayer? This is extremely important. We need to build a connection with God and in order to do that, you need to have proper focus. God says in the Quran that prayer restrains one from evil. So prayer here is a success. Drinking is an evil and prayer is a thing that is restraining me from these evils. So if I drink, I'm letting evil get, the, get to the best of myself. So in order to avoid that, Prayer should be read often. Prayer should be read every single day and you build a better connection with God. So in the end, I would like to say that in order to have a proper relationship with God, you need to have control of your senses and for that, you need to avoid these evils. And one of these evils, like I mentioned before, is drinking and that God has commanded us not to drink and we should all take heed and obey this commandment of God Almighty. Jazakumullah.